Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to unlock bootloader on your Samsung Galaxy S21. Okay, so as you can see here I have the Samsung Galaxy and I'm just going to quickly change the language. Mm. Okay. Uh, and as you can see in about phone, it is the S21 FE 5G. So <coughs> in order to put this phone into unlocked bootloader, uh, you'll need to first connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, it is important because putting it into, uh, unlocking the bootloader uh, will send an information about it to the phone's manufacturer um, because it can void warranty. Uh, I think unlocking the bootloader itself doesn't void warranty, but uh, it just sends an information that in case something happens with the system, they know that the bootloader was unlocked and that it may be your fault. Uh, okay, now we are connected to Wi-Fi. We can scroll all the way down to about phone and go to so software information then find bill number and click on it seven times if you have a screen lock enter it remember that unlocking the bootloader will reset your system so it's worth backing up all the data on your system so you don't lose it um, now another part uh, is very important that you sign out of your google account if you have one here uh, you, you just go to accounts and backup, manage accounts, and if you have an account, click on it and remove it because later on you'll have the FRP lock, which you most likely don't want. So, um, because it, it just adds you more time in the process and it's unnecessary. Now let's go to developer options, which have appeared after going to about phone uh, and we should be able to find OEM unlocking. If you don't see it, then uh, you most probably aren't connected to internet. Connect to internet, restart your phone, and then you'll find it here. I'm gonna enable OEM unlocking, and now we can shut our phone down. Let's press and hold on power and volume down, then tap on power off and tap on power off again. Wait for a moment. Now get your cable handy. Uh, I would recommend plugging it into a computer, but it can be already plugged into a charger instead of a computer. It doesn't matter. I prefer plugging it into the computer because it always works. Um, it's a sort of protection from doing it accidentally. It's not for you to do anything on the computer. You don't need a computer for the process. It just needs to be plugged in as a protection so you don't do it accidentally in your pocket. Now the cable should be already plugged into the, the computer or the charger and not yet to the phone. We'll plug it into the phone shortly. First, we'll need to start pressing and holding on volume up and volume down at the same time. And while doing so, plug it into the cable. Let's hold on a moment. I'm expecting it to come up, but I don't see it. What is happening? Hold on a second. So volume up and volume down for communication and then plug in the cable. I really hope this cable works. Not all cables work the same, you know, so I'm just gonna test out a different cable and get back to you. Okay, I've tried different cables. If in your case also it doesn't go into download mode, don't worry. Uh, we'll need to do it again, uh, but this time Let's hold volume up and volume down, plug the cable in, keep on holding for a moment, shortly press on the power button and release. And now I think it should show up. I'm pretty sure it should. Let's try that again. Okay, I pressed for a moment longer for the power button and now we have the warning. And what you should do is press and hold on volume up once the screen goes off, you can release the button. And now it says unlock bootloader. If it says unlock bootloader, then click on volume up to say yes. Right. And now the phone will reset. Let's press on the power button to approve. Uh, it'll reset all the data. Then it'll restart 
and it may take some time so get ready for a little wait um, it, it, it does take some time for sure by the way you can unplug the cable already if you want um, yeah and uh, I'm gonna get back to you because it may take a few minutes Okay, and I think it's already reset, yes, and we can, uh, it's already done, <coughs> the bootloader is unlocked, but it's worth setting your phone up real quick uh, just to see uh, whether it's for sure unlocked, because sometimes there may be a little bit of a problem, you may need to do it again. Um, so I'll just set it up real quick, just connect to Wi-Fi and skip everything else um, as much as you can. I'm just gonna get back to you when it's done. Okay, I have set it up, so um, I'm connected to Wi-Fi. As you can see, we can go all the way down in settings to about phone, software information, uh, click on build number seven times, of course, go back, go to developer options. And now if OEM unlocking is enabled and grayed out, then it's all done. So I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.